If you see what we can see, then adventure it's for all of us. There's a place that we should be. Come along, come along, cause it's high time we can lose. Come and drink. I got you a present. A present? Yeah. Is it my birthday? <laughs> it's not. But since you're not officially a captain yet on the boat, I yes, got eh? you. Yes. Okay. I got you something else. Okay. It's a certificate. Lord Robbins and Lady Robbins. <laughs> Excellent. You are, well, we are now officially Lord and Lady Robbins. Okay. <laughs> So what does that want? <laughs> Please explain. <laughs> so we now own two square feet of land in Scotland. And when you own land in Scotland, you are then entitled to be a lord or a lady. Okay. So this is all through established titles. So for every order, they will plant a tree, working in partnership with one tree planted and trees for the future. I, I, I'm a massive believer in that, to be honest with you. The first 200 people purchased in a title pack using our link will effectively be right next to our plot. We can have a little ship havens community. And also they've got a Black Friday sale going on at the moment. But if you use our code SHIP, you get 10% off. So go to establishedtitles.com forward slash SHIP to make yourself a lord oh, or a lady. Or, a lady. Yeah. or it's a fab gift for people for Christmas. Yeah, it's got to. So, go check them out. Do I need to bow to you now, my lord? Well, if you're a lord, if you're a lady and I'm a lord, then we're both from the same sort of like social strata, aren't we? It might be so... the first time I've ever <laughs> been a lady in all my life. <laughs> so maybe we should get Robbo to bow to us and stuff because Robbo's, Robbo's helping upstairs at the moment. So. Lord and lady coming lady. up. <laughs> lord, can I help? So came in for about a week ago and I thought, right. I'll clamp up a piece of oak, because I don't know if you can tell the curve of the oak at the moment, but I'll clamp it up, we'll leave it there, and then when we come back the week later, hopefully get a memory, but anyway, no, I actually ended up breaking a frame, because it took some serious energy to like put it on, so, as you saw before, I did some steaming, and we steamed it, then we've left it clamped up here for a week, so it's perfectly dried out now, well, it's, it's at the, the ambient dryness, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the right word. Anyway, yeah, so we're going to unclamp it now and hopefully it stays bent. What's the chance of that? Hold on, before you unclamp it and we take it off and we forget which way is up and which way is down and stuff. That's good. Idea. Just draw an arrow on it. So we're doing an arrow. Well, we're going to paint it now. Yeah, but I'll, I'll mark the end <laughs> or when we scarf it. There we go. So that's up. And then, yeah, that'll do. That's fine. Because you really wouldn't think it would be like that wonky, would you? <laughs> You've got wonky hardwood. Got wonky wood. I'm doing it again. Paint your bow! You know, with you being Lord and Lady now, yeah? You know, to loyalty. Didn't you have to kiss someone's ring or something like that? I'm not doing that, alright. Not bending over for that one, Robbo. Right, so Robbo is painting the ceiling, the last little bit now. Because up next, we are going to start insulating it. 
just waiting for my insulation to arrive. Should be in the next day or two and we can get that cut and prepped in the workshop, ready for fitting. Pre-chipping it off is when you clamp it in the vise, gives you something to clamp to. with this one I went too far the wood was really good I don't know I just had some real scrap with this one to get it out no man okay time for the clean up and to fit the new frame I'm just mixing up some epoxy to fix some indentations in the stringers in the old ones where we've sisted them and it's only for aesthetics um, so it's a bit cold today and we had some good information from Wessex Resins from David so they told us in the winter to actually heat the epoxy up because it helps it go off quicker so I'm just I haven't put my hardener in yet so I'm just warming up me 105 epoxy resin Okay, me, me resin's actually smoking. <laughs> Do you want to get me thermal out? Yeah. I'm a bit worried now. I've overdone it. Can you see the temperature? Yeah, it's got a line up if you're not. 120! It's over 120. Yeah, I can now adjust this. I'll hold back. <laughs> <laughs> just, just... Do we need the fire extinguisher? We're both smoking. Alright, so now... There you go, alright, so. We said that's a white line of it. Can you see what? No, can the camera see 127. What? Wow. I'll write this one down here. Look at the camera. 40, uh, 40, 30, about 40 degrees that one at the moment. <laughs> so. If you have a cold in the winter, just mix up a massive batch of um, West Epoxy. I think we went a bit heavy there, didn't we? At least it'll dry quick. It has stopped smoking now though, so I'm not panicking as well. So much. if we just keep it on it now. Woo, toasty. So we're down to 115 now. <laughs> <laughs> that sort of reminds me of Gemma Girl Off. Once we did some painting in the workshop, um, I was basically with a, with, with a spray gun, but I always leave thinners in my spray gun, so I then poured the thinners into the fire, because I, I left the thinners in the thing, and then I poured it in, and then basically it went woof, 
So it wasn't, wasn't that energetic. I then finished my spray job, cleaned my gun out with thinners, poured the thinners into the fire. But obviously this is fresh thinners. So this just went out. Boom! <laughs> It was like, still got the mark on the ceiling. <laughs> it went that high, it went up, and like it was the, the ceiling was on fire because of all this like finish. So that's my experience. So, but then we were like laughing so much, we were trying to blow it out, and we were like, <gasps> we were just like in stitches. Anyway, that's my boring story of the day. I'm gonna stand in, stare at this. Okay, now that light's flashing away. It's basically, it's, it's stop flashing now. Stop. Low battery, and the GoPro's got a low battery, right, so, so ba battery batteries are high. So Robert's doing some ceiling up uh, on the outside of the roof and I think he may even give that a second coat of paint once the sealant's dry. So Gemma's tidying up after me which is very nice of her but we've actually we got we got given didn't we because um somebody somebody noticed us having hoover issues so somebody's bought us an amazing hoover it's actually a hyundai wet back basically or wet and dry so but we're going to use this hoover just for the dry aren't we yes so thank you so much alan for the hoover i've not this is gonna be my first time using it so i'm quite excited well well rob robber the other day sort of unboxed it and got it out and then i heard him i heard him Hoovering and he come back and that is a really good Hoover. So thank you very much, buddy. Cheers. Really good. Um, I'm not going all the way to the bottom because we've got a little bit of water in the bilge and I don't want to get my hoover wet. So, you know what the biggest test for this hoover is, go isn't on your it? Face. Yeah, go on. Go on. <laughs> yeah, that's actually the best stuff in hoover that I felt on my face. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Back to work. So it's dinner time. Robbo's treated us to a nice Greg's, so we are having pasties. But he's also bought wonky some dinner. Sardines! So I need to go and give him a call, see if he's about, and give him some good food instead of quavers all the time. Wonky! There he is! Yay! Wonky, look, some proper food, son. Come on then, proper food. He's happy. He's not even entertaining the sardines. So let's do a test. So let's give him some quavers and see if he'll come for them. I'll put them near the sardines to try and entice him in. Come on then, Wonky. Come and get your quavers. Come on then. Come on, it's hard. Conclusively proves he's a scally bird. He likes quavers over sardines. Not a normal bird is our wonky, is he? <laughs> Paint's all dry, so time to get the frame in. So we've just got the frame like halfway down and Jem's like, stop, it's not going to go in. Uh, there's basically a bit of epoxy because uh, we did a scarf uh, a 
very long time ago, it's obviously oozed out, hasn't it? Um, so, all that epoxy there, but I've just had to cut it off with a mortar tool. Good stuff. Um, so, yeah, should go in now. You wouldn't even think we put a scarf in there, would you? You can't see it. Nobody will ever know, apart from us and you and everyone else. getting faster and faster at these copper nails every time we do them so now time to get the packers on and then we can fit the web frame we're starting off with one at the bottom or the top one is the top we go one two three four what was that So we drove it the right way. Are you having trouble with your big wonky wood, dear? See the frustration in his face then? Because I'm tired. I need to get back for the kids, so we're now rushing again. So, keep going. I'm just gonna laugh how stressed you're getting with that Benzie piece. Well, it's was. just like annoying, but it, but it went in and out that easy before. But to that wedgie piece at the top. Hi, have you all met Narky Simon? <laughs> Did not met Narky Simon before. Yeah, well, Simon would usually smash things up. <laughs> right, let's get a scarf joint. Put in this bendy piece of wood. Stressy today. Because I'm tired. Oh. I'm busy. Working very, very hard. And that's how it gets here sometimes. I'm tired. You just want to get it done. So you're like, rah! But you shouldn't do, should you? you should chill out, calm down, sniff the glow. <laughs> <laughs> do not sniff glue. It's bad for your health. First 
properly steamed web framing. Yeah. That was quite a success. Yeah, it was alright. Yeah, well, it's okay. Obviously, we did it like the week before. What we should be doing now, technically, is steaming another one and then leaving that a week to dry. So, time to fit the knee. And as they say in Blue Peter, it's one I made earlier. <laughs> So, which way does it go? Goes that way, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, how should so as you know, we're just temporary tech screwing these up. They will all have proper copper going through them all when we get a proper deck. Up into me rotten wood. Hey, yeah, got a bite. Yeah, they're not. Not too rotten actually. No, it's a bit cracky this beam, but. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Good job. So we have got a lot of copper nails to do as well, haven't we? Because you know, every time we get to finish a web, it's like the end of the day, and we go, "I'll oh, do that next time." So one day we will do them all. There we go. New frame, web frame, knee. The knee's not new. The knee's not new. It looks new. It's reconditioned knee. <laughs> yes. So, we're calling it a day because um, someone's tired and narky today. Oh. Maybe she did as much work as me, what do you think, eh? Ooh. We're not even going on that fight. <laughs> um, thank you so much to Established Titles for sponsoring today's episode. Oh, yeah. so, if you want to be a lord or a lady, go... I'm, fi I'm finding it difficult to like call you lord. Don't call, call me lord. <laughs> lady. <laughs> you can tell I'm tired. Cool. Ne you've never called me a lady in your life? No. Called you other things. It's not a lady. Yes. So, we're off. Someone needs a day off, which I'll let him have tomorrow, since it's his sister's wedding day. Mm. So, yes. Right, thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing, pressing the like button, and joining us on Patreon if you do want to support the project. Yeah. And thank you very much to all the patrons and viewers and all that sort of stuff. Everyone who's contributed. Yes. PayPal. Thank you to Alan for me Hoover. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Love it. I absolutely love it. So, see you all next week. See you guys. Bye. Bye. So I'm just mixing up some epoxy frames to fill in these little epoxy bits of... Frames? What? You said epoxy frames. <laughs> Start again. Who said... Epoxy. West system. They're called Wessex resins. Wessex? Are they? Yeah. Sorry, I'll do <laughs> What? <laughs> can't say what when I'm just filming you. Yeah? I've had that stuff on my skin loads, I've not died yet. Yeah. Not dead yet. Not dead yet, dear. You wish though. Imagine my life insurance would probably pay the boat for the boat to get fixed. Yeah, on the mowing for <laughs> Do you know if I die before just as we're about to moor this boat, he's bought me off to pay the mooring fees. <laughs>